Oh, and in this video, we're going to use onshape to create ISO number three. Uh, this one we're going to do an addi uh, additive method. Uh, we're going to create this overall shape and then add on this little triangle piece at the end. Uh, so first we have to count out the size of this shape. So if we look, it goes up one, two, three, four, five. It comes in three on the top and comes in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the bottom. Uh, so that's the shape we're going to start with, and then we'll add in that extra piece. So we we'll come to on shape, we hit create, we start our document, document, and name it ISO three. Uh, once we're in our workplace, uh, again we're just going to start with a sketch. So I'm going to put it on my front plane. I'm going to change my view to my front plane as well, and in this case I'm going to use lines. Uh, we said on the bottom it was eight, so I'm going to start with my origin. I go over it and type in eight and hit enter. I'm going to zoom out so I can see where I'm at. Uh, then I'm going to come up. I'm just going to estimate about where it goes. It's not going to be perfect. We're going to fix that here in a second. Uh, then we're going to go over to the origin. We can see it makes a yellow dotted line. And I'm going to click there. And then I'm going to type in A3 and enter. That fixes my length over here on the side. Uh, then I want to go down to my origin. And it's going to fix my overall height when I type in as a 5 and enter. So that gives me the overall shape I wanted. Uh, now we just have to add in our depth. So if we count, it goes back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, so we come back and we hit our green check to finish our sketch. Uh, then either shift E or hidden that box for extrude. Click on our shape and type in our depth of 5 and enter. Uh, we hit our green check, and if we look at it, we can see we have that overall shape. Uh, then we need to add in this triangle. Uh, we can't sketch it. We don't want to sketch it on the front because it doesn't start at the front. However, we can start it on the back and extrude it into the object. So I'm going to start by a, just turn my shape around so I can get to the back to click on. So I'm going to hit sketch. I'm going to click on that back plane, and then I'm going to turn my cube so I'm looking at the back. Uh, then I'm just going to sketch that triangle. If we go back and look and count, we can see it goes up one, two, three from the bottom corner, and it comes in one, two, three as well, and then it slants with the slope of the object. Uh, so I'm going to start with a line. I'm going to start on that bottom corner when it makes that box. That's where I want to click. I'm going to go straight up vertically. You can see it makes that perpendicular symbol. That's why I went up on my screen. And when I click, and then I type in three. Uh, then I come over it. You can see it making that parallel, that little line there. I want that line, and then I want to place it on my shape as well. So it's got two constraints, and it's already showing me a three. I click. I can accept that three by clicking Enter, or I can just go ahead and click down in my bottom corner to close off my shape. Uh, I close off my shape, and I'm done with my sketch. So I can hit the green check, and now I want to just extrude. So I'm going to change my view just so it's easier to see and then hit extrude we want to click inside that shape and we want it going the opposite direction you see it's going out we want it going in you can either drag or you can click on the box and if we look at our object if we can count it goes in one two three spaces three boxes so i want to go in three inches in this case i hit three and enter and then I can hit my green check, and I've finished ISO 3. I'm going to change it back to my front view, that front ISO view, and we can see that we have ISO 3 created there. Uh, hopefully that helps in your creation. Don't forget to change up your labels, name it correctly, and hopefully you have ISO 3 completed. Uh, good luck.